How much of the U? S energy supply is from renewable sources. Renewable energy resources accounted for only 8% of total energy consumption. In the United States in 2009, hydropower is the single largest source of renewable energy in the United States. Accounting for 35% of total renewable energy. What is a dolphin safe tuna? The order Cetacea, composed of whales, dolphins, and porpoises, were spared from the extinction of large mammals at the end of the Pleistocene about 10,000 years ago. What is memory? Memory is the ability to recall information and experiences. Memory and learning are related because in order to be able to remember something it must first be learned. Memories may be facts or skills. Memory traces have been described traditionally as concrete things that are formed during learning and imprinted on the brain when neurons record and store information. However, the way that memories are formed and represented in the brain is not well understood. How much water can the average family in the United States save by? Installing efficient water fixtures and checking regularly for leaks? The average family in the United States would use only 45.2 gallons, 171 liters, of water per day. Saving 24.1 gallons, 91 liters, per day, by installing more efficient water fixtures and checking for leaks. This reduces daily per capita water use by 35%. How do renewable energy resources differ from fossil fuels? The main sources of renewable energy are biofuels, such as wood, hydropower, geothermal, solar, and wind. Unlike fossil fuels, Renewable energy resources are being replenished continuously and will never run out. Some sources of renewable energy, such as solar power and wind power, are perpetual. Meaning the wind will blow and the sun will shine no matter how much energy is used. Sources of renewable energy that rely on agriculture, such as woods are renewable as long as they are not depleted and exploited too rapidly. What is needed for DNA replication? DNA replication is a complex process requiring more than a dozen enzymes, nucleotides, and energy. In eukaryotic cells there are multiple sites called origins of replication, at these sites. 
Enzymes unwind the helix by breaking the double bonds between the nitrogen bases. Once the molecule is opened, separate strands are kept from rejoining by DNA stabilizing proteins. DNA polymerase molecules read the sequences in the strands being copied and catalyze the addition of complementary bases to form new strands. What are the three major groups of chordates? The chordates are divided into three subphyla, tunicata, cephalochordata, and vertebrata. Tunicates are like little leathery bags that are either free-living or attached to pilings. Rocks and seaweeds. They are also called sea squirts because a disturbed animal may contract and shoot streams of water from both of its siphons. The subphylum cephalochordata contains the amphioxus or lancelet, branchiostoma, which looks like a small fish and has the three chaudate features as an adult. Amphioxus also shows clear serial segmentation or metamerism. From the Greek terms meta, meaning between, among, after, and miros, meaning part. It is divided lengthwise into a series of muscle segments. Vertebrates, which comprise the third chaudate subphylum. Retain the same metamerism in internal structures. What is a variable? A variable is something that is changed or altered in an experiment. For example, to determine the effect of light on plant growth, growing one plant in a sunny window and one in a dark closet will provide evidence as to the effect of light on plant growth. The variable is light. Which woods have the best heating quality in a wood burning stove? Wood accounts for 28% of the total of renewable energy resources in the United States. Woods that have high heat value, meaning that one cord equals 200 to 250 gallons. 757 to 946 liters of fuel oil or 250 to 300 cubic feet, 7 to 8.5 cubic meters of natural gas. Are hickory, beech, oak, yellow birch, ash, hornbeam, sugar maple, and apple. Woods that have medium heat value, meaning that one cord equals 150 to 200 gallons. 567 to 757 liters of fuel oil or 200 to 250 cubic feet, 5.5 to 7 cubic meters of natural gas. Are white birch, Douglas fir, red maple, eastern larch, big leaf maple, and elm. Woods that have a low heat value, meaning that one cord equals 100 to 150 gallons, 378 to 567 liters. Of fuel oil or 150 to 200 cubic feet, 4 to 5.5 cubic meters, of natural gas, are aspen, red alder, white pine, redwood, western hemlock, eastern hemlock, 
Sitka spruce, cottonwood, western red cedar, and lodgepole pine. What are dust mites? Dust mites are microscopic arachnids, members of the spider family. Commonly found in house dust. Dust mite allergen is probably one of the most important causes of asthma. Breathlessness and wheezing caused by the narrowing of small airways of the lungs, in North America, as well as the major cause of common allergies. Exaggerated reactions of the immune system to exposure of offending agents. Thorough, regular cleaning of the home, including the following measures. Will help control dust mites, clean all major appliances such as furnaces and air conditioners. And change filters as recommended by the manufacturer. Launder bedding every 7 to 10 days in hot water. Use synthetic or foam rubber mattress pads and pillows. Cover mattresses with dustproof covers. Clean or replace pillows regularly. Keep moist surfaces in kitchen and bathroom clean and free of mold. Vacuum and dust. Often, a high-efficiency particulate air filter, HEPA, vacuum is especially effective. Where was the first hydroelectric power plant in the United States built? Appleton, Wisconsin, is the site of the first hydroelectric generating plant in the United States. It was built in 1882. When was the first zoo in the United States established? The Philadelphia Zoological Garden, chartered in 1859, was the first zoo in the United States. The zoo was delayed by the Civil War. Financial difficulties, and restrictions on transporting wild animals. It opened in 1874 on 33 acres, 13 hectares, and 282 animals were exhibited. What are effective types of pollination? Effective pollination occurs when viable pollen is transferred to a plant's stigmas. Ovule-bearing organs, or ovules, seed precursors. Without pollination, there would be no fertilization. Since plants are immobile organisms, they usually need external agents to transport their pollen from where it is produced in the plant to where fertilization can occur. This situation produces cross-pollination. Wherein one plant's pollen is moved by an agent to another plant's stigma. Some plants are able to self-pollinate transfer their own pollen to their own stigmas. But of the two methods, cross-pollination seems more advantageous. For it allows new genetic material to be introduced. 
Cross-pollination agents include insects, wind, birds, mammals, and water. Many times flowers offer one or more rewards to attract these agents' sugary nectar. Oil, solid food bodies, perfume, a place to sleep, or sometimes the pollen itself. Other times the plant can trap the agent into transporting the pollen. Generally, plants use color and fragrances as attract ants to lure these agents. For example, a few orchids use a combination of smell and color to mimic the female of certain species of bees and wasps so successfully that the corresponding males will attempt to mate with them. Through this process, pseudocopulation, the orchids achieve pollination. While some plants cater to a variety of agents. Other plants are very selective and are pollinated by a single species of insect only. This extreme pollinator specificity tends to maintain the purity of a plant species. Plant structure can accommodate the type of agent used. For example, plants such as grasses and conifers, whose pollen is carried by the wind, tend to have a simple structure lacking petals, with freely exposed and branched stigmas. To catch airborne pollen and dangling anthers, pollen producing parts, on long filaments. This type of anther allows the light round pollen to be easily caught by the wind. These plants are found in areas such as prairies and mountains, where insect agents are rare. In contrast, semi-enclosed, non-symmetrical, long-lived flowers such as irises, roses, and snapdragons have a landing platform and nectar in the flower base to accommodate insect agents such as the bee. The sticky, abundant pollen can easily become attached to the insect to be borne away to another flower. What is the difference between the cardiovascular system and the circulatory system? The cardiovascular system refers to the heart, cardio, and blood vessels, vascular. The circulatory system is a more general term encompassing the blood. Blood vessels, heart, lymph, and lymph vessels. How does the Energy Star program promote energy efficiency? Energy Star is a dynamic government slash industry partnership that offers businesses and consumers energy efficient solutions. Making it easy to save money while protecting the environment for future generations. In 1992 the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, introduced Energy Star as a voluntary labeling program designed to identify and promote energy-efficient products to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Computers and monitors were the first labeled products. The Energy Star label is now on major appliances. Office equipment, lighting, consumer electronics, and more. The EPA has also extended the label to cover new homes and commercial and industrial buildings. Through its partnerships with more than 7,000 private and public sector organizations. Energy Star delivers the technical information and tools that organizations and 
consumers need to choose energy efficient solutions and best management practices. Energy Star has successfully delivered energy and cost savings across the country. Saving businesses, organizations, and consumers more than $5 billion a year. Energy Star has been instrumental in promoting the widespread use of such technological innovations as LED traffic lights, efficient fluorescent lighting, power management systems for office equipment, and low standby energy use. When was the Nobel Prize first awarded? The Nobel Prize was established by Alfred Nobel, 1833 to 1896. To recognize individuals whose achievements during the preceding year had conferred the greatest benefit to mankind. Five prizes were to be conferred each year in the areas of physics, chemistry, physiology or medicine, economic sciences, and peace. Although Nobel passed away in 1896, the first prizes were not awarded until 1901. What is Lou Gehrig's disease? Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, sometimes called Lou Gehrig's. 1903-1941, disease after the New York Yankees baseball player who retired from baseball in 1939 after being diagnosed with ALS, is a motor neuron disease of middle or late life. It results from a progressive degeneration of nerve cells controlling voluntary motor functions that ends in death 3 to 10 years after onset. There is no cure for it. At the beginning of the disease, the patient notices weakness in the hands and arms. With involuntary muscle quivering and possible muscle cramping or stiffness. Eventually all four extremities become involved. As nerve degeneration progresses, disability occurs and physical independence declines until the patient. While mentally and intellectually aware, can no longer move, swallow, or breathe. What type of high technology material is used in space vehicles for its heat resistant properties? Carbon carbon composites. CCCs, are baseline materials in high temperature applications such as re-entry vehicle nose tips, rocket motor nozzles, and the space shuttle orbiter leading edges. Carbon carbon is a non-metallic composite material made of carbon fibers in a carbon matrix having operational capabilities ranging from cryogenics to 5000 degrees fahrenheit 2760 degrees celsius numerous fiber types and weave patterns having a wide range of physical properties are available providing flexibility in the design of carbon carbon components Carbon Carbon has a unique combination of lightweight, high strength, and temperature resistance. How is the autonomic nervous system organized?
The autonomic nervous system regulates involuntary activity, which is not controlled on a conscious level. It consists of two divisions, the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic division is often called the fight or flight system because it usually stimulates tissue metabolism, increases alertness, and generally prepares the body to deal with emergencies. The parasympathetic division is considered the rest and repose division. Because it conserves energy and promotes sedentary activities, such as digestion. What are the highest and lowest recorded temperatures on Earth? The highest temperature in the world was recorded as 136 degrees Fahrenheit 58 degrees Celsius at El Aziziya, El Aziziya, Libya. On September 13, 1922, the highest temperature recorded in the United States was 134 degrees Fahrenheit 56.7 degrees Celsius. In Death Valley, California, on July 10, 1913. The temperatures of 140 degrees Fahrenheit 60 degrees Celsius at Delta, Mexico. In August 1953 and 136.4 degrees Fahrenheit 58 degrees Celsius at San Luis, Mexico, on August 11, 1933, are not internationally accepted. The lowest temperature was minus 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit minus 89.6 degrees Celsius at Vostok Station in Antarctica on July 21, 1983. The record cold temperature for an inhabited area was minus 90.4 degrees Fahrenheit minus 68 degrees Celsius at Oymyakon, Siberia, population 4000. On February 6, 1933. This temperature tied with the readings at Verkhoyansk, Siberia. On January 3, 1885, and February 5 and 7, 1892. The lowest temperature reading in the United States was minus 79.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Minus 62.1 degrees Celsius on January 23, 1971, in Prospect Creek, Alaska, for the contiguous 48 states. The coldest temperature was minus 69.7 degrees Fahrenheit minus 56.5 degrees Celsius at Rogers Pass, Montana, on January 20, 1954. Why do some dentists treat the molars and premolars of children with sealants? Sealants, a soft plastic coating applied to the tooth surface, can protect a child's first and second permanent molars from decay by filling in. The pits and fissures where food and bacteria might otherwise accumulate. The plastic is hardened with a special light or chemical. What is a controlled substance? The Comprehensive Drug Abuse Prevention and Control Act of 1971 was designed to control the distribution and use of all depressant and stimulant drugs and other drugs of abuse or potential abuse. 
centrally acting drugs are divided into five classes called Schedule I through V. Who was Alfred Russell Wallace? Alfred Russell Wallace, 1823-1913, was a naturalist whose work was presented with Charles Darwin's at the Linnean Society of London in 1858, after extensive travels in the Amazon basin. Wallace independently came to the same conclusions as Darwin on the significance of natural selection in driving the diversification of species. Wallace also worked as a natural history specimen collector in Indonesia. Wallace, like Darwin, also read the work of Thomas Malthus, 1766-1834. During an attack of malaria in Indonesia, Wallace made the connection between the Malthusian concept of the struggle for existence and a mechanism for change within populations. From this, Wallace wrote the essay that was eventually presented with Darwin's work in 1858. What is the largest crater on the moon? The largest crater on the moon is Bailey. Its diameter is 184 miles, 296 kilometers. What causes hiccups and how can they be cured? Hiccuping is the involuntary contraction of the diaphragm. When the diaphragm contracts, the vocal cords close quickly. Causing the familiar noise associated with hiccups. Hiccups help the stomach get rid of a bit of gas, relieve the esophagus of an irritation, or resolve a temporary loss of coordination between the nerves controlling the movement of the diaphragm. A bout of hiccups can be brought on by eating or drinking too fast or fatigue or nervousness. Although hiccups generally go away on their own after a few minutes. Several remedies have been recommended to cure one of hiccups, a loud distraction to scare the sufferer of hiccups. Swallowing a spoonful of sugar, blowing into a paper bag, or holding one's breath. What are the three types of primary energy that flow continuously on or to the surface of Earth? Geothermal energy is heat contained beneath Earth's crust and brought to the surface in the form of steam or hot water. The five main sources of this geothermal reservoir are dry, superheated steam from steam fields below Earth's surface, mixed hot water, wet steam, etc., from geysers, dry rocks into which cold water is pumped to create steam. Pressurized water fields of hot water and natural gas beneath ocean beds. And magma, molten rock in or near volcanoes and 5 to 30 miles 8 to 48 kilometers below Earth's crust. Most buildings in Iceland are heated by geothermal energy, and a few communities in the United States. 
such as Boise, Idaho, use geothermal home heating. Electric power production, industrial processing, and space heating are fed from geothermal sources. The California Geysers project is the world's largest geothermal electric generating complex. With 200 steam wells that provide some 1,300 megawatts of power. Solar radiation utilization depends on the weather. Number of cloudy days, and the ability to store energy for night use. The process of collecting and storing is difficult and expensive. A solar thermal facility, loose international solar thermal plant. In the Mojave Desert currently produces 274 megawatts and is used to supplement the power needs of Los Angeles utilities companies. Japan has 4 million solar panels on roofs. And two-thirds of the houses in Israel have them, 90% of Cyprus homes do as well. Solar photovoltaic cells can generate electric current when exposed to the sun. Virtually every spacecraft and satellite since 1958 utilizes this kind of resource, too. Tidal and wave energy contain enormous amounts of energy to be harnessed. The first tidal powered mill was built in England in 1100, another in Woodbridge. England, built in 1170, has functioned for over 800 years. The Rance River Power Station in France in operation since 1966, was the first large tidal electric generator plant, producing 160 megawatts. A tidal station works like a hydropower dam, with its turbines spinning as the tide flows through them. Unfortunately, the tidal period of 13.5 hours causes problems. In integrating the peak use with the peak generation ability. Ocean wave energy can also be made to drive electrical generators. How did the electrical unit volt originate? The unit of voltage is the volt, named after Alessandro Volta. 1745 to 1827, the Italian scientist who built the first modern battery. A battery, operating with a lead rod and vinegar, was also manufactured in ancient Egypt. Voltage measures the force or oomph with which electrical charges are pushed through a material. Some common voltages are 1.5 volts for a flashlight battery, 12 volts for a car battery. 115 volts for ordinary household receptacles, and 230 volts for a heavy-duty household receptacle. What is a fiddlehead and how are they used in cooking? The type of fern typically grown as a house plant is of the diploid, or sporophyte, generation. It is composed of a rhizome, an underground stem that occurs horizontally, which produces roots and leaves called fronds. As each young frond first emerges from the ground, it is tightly coiled and resembles the top of a violin, hence the name fiddlehead. 
Fiddleheads have a chewy texture and a flavor that is a cross between asparagus, green beans, and okra. They may be cooked by steaming, simmering, or sautéing, and they are typically served as a side dish. The young fern shoots may also be served raw in salads. How does the body introduce oxygen to the blood and where does this happen? Blood entering the right side of the heart, right auricle or atrium. Contains carbon dioxide, a waste product of the body. The blood travels to the right ventricle, which pushes it through the pulmonary artery to the lungs. In the lungs, the carbon dioxide is removed and oxygen is added to the blood. Then the blood travels through the pulmonary vein carrying the fresh oxygen to the left side of the heart. First to the left auricle, where it goes through a one-way valve into the left ventricle. Which must push the oxygenated blood to all portions of the body. Except the lungs, through a network of arteries and capillaries. The left ventricle must contract with six times the force of the right ventricle. So its muscle wall is twice as thick as the right. How did the search for cinnamon lead to the discovery of North and South America? Christopher Columbus, 1451-1506, was one of many explorers trying to find a direct sea route to Asia. Which during the 15th century was thought to be rich with spices. Cinnamon and other spices were so valued in Columbus's era that a new direct route to Asia would have brought untold wealth to the discoverer and his country. Why do cats' eyes shine in the dark? A cat's eyes contain a special light-conserving mechanism called the tapetum lucidum, which reflects any light not absorbed as it passes through the retina of each eye. The retina gets a second chance, so to speak, to receive the light, aiding the cat's vision even more. In dim light, when the pupils of the cat's eyes are open the widest. This glowing or shining effect occurs when light hits them at certain angles. The tapetum lucidum, located behind the retina, is a membrane composed of 15 layers of special glittering cells that all together act as a mirror. The color of the glow is usually greenish or golden. But the eyes of the Siamese cat reflect a luminous ruby red. Why don't birds get electrocuted when they sit on wires? In general, birds do not get electrocuted while just sitting on power transmission wires. Most electrocutions happen when a bird opens its wingspan and completes a circuit by bridging the gap between two live wires or a live wire and a grounded wire. Or other parts such as transformers and grounded metal cross arms.
What is Fuller's Earth? It is a naturally occurring white or brown clay containing aluminum magnesium silicate. Fuller's Earth acts as a catalyst and was named for a process. Known as fulling a process used to clean grease from wool and cloth. It is currently used for lightening the color of oils and fats, as a pigment extender, as a filter. As an absorbent, for example, in litter boxes to absorb animal waste, and in floor sweeping compounds. Which mammals lay eggs and suckle their young? The duck-billed platypus, Ornithorhynchus anatinus, the short-nosed echidna or spiny anteater. Tachyglossus aculeatus, and the long-nosed echidna, Zaglossus bruigeni. Indigenous to Australia, Tasmania, and New Guinea, are the only three species of mammals that lay eggs. A non-mammalian feature, but suckle their young, a mammalian feature. These mammals, order Monotremata, resemble reptiles in that they lay rubbery. Shell-covered eggs that are incubated and hatched outside the mother's body. In addition, they resemble reptiles in their digestive, reproductive, and excretory systems. And in a number of anatomical details, eye structure. Presence of certain skull bones, pectoral shoulder girdle, and rib, and vertebral structures. They are, however, classed as mammals because they have fur and a four-chambered heart. Nurse their young from gland milk, are warm-blooded, and have some mammalian skeletal features. Do animals have color vision? Most reptiles and birds appear to have a well-developed color sense. Most mammals, however, are colorblind. Apes and monkeys have the ability to tell colors apart. Dogs can distinguish shades of gray and see various shades of blue. Cats seem to be able to distinguish between greens and blues. How is human exposure to radiation measured? The radiation absorbed dose, rad, and the Rentgen equivalent man, rem, were used for many years to measure the amount and effect of ionizing radiation absorbed by humans while officially replaced by the gray and the sievert, both are still used in many reference sources. The rad equals the energy absorption of 100 ergs per gram of irradiated material. An erg is a unit of work or energy. The rem is the absorbed dose of ionizing radiation that produces the same. Biological effect as one rad of X-rays or gamma rays, which are equal. The rem of X-rays and gamma rays is therefore equal to the rad, for each type of radiation. The number of rads is multiplied by a specific factor to find the number of rems. The milliram. 0.001 rems, is also frequently used.
The average radiation dose received by a person in the United States is about 360 mg per year. Natural radiation accounts for about 82% of a person's yearly exposure. And manufactured sources for 18%. Indoor radon has only recently been recognized as a significant source of natural radiation. With 55% of the natural radiation coming from this source. In the SI system, System International D Units, or International System of Units. The gray and the sievert are used to measure radiation absorbed, these units have largely superseded the older RAD and RAM. The gray, GY, equal to 100 RADs, is now the base unit. It is also expressed as the energy absorption of 1 joule per kilogram of irradiated material. The sievert, SV, is the absorbed dose of radiation that produces. The same biological effect as 1 gray of X-rays or gamma rays. The sievert is equal to 100 rems, and has superseded the rem. The Becquerel, BQ, measures the radioactive strength of a source, but does not consider effects on tissue. One Becquerel is defined as one disintegration, or other nuclear transformation, per second. Where is RNA formed? All RNA is formed in the nucleus, eukaryotic cells, or in the nucleoid region, prokaryotic cells. The principal enzyme responsible for RNA synthesis is RNA polymerase. What are the major groups of mollusks? There are four major groups of mollusks, 1, chitons, 2, gastropods, which includes nails, slugs, and nudibranchs, 3, bivalves, which include clams, oysters and mussels, and 4, cephalopods, which include squids and octopods. Although mollusks vary widely in external appearance, most share the following body plan, 1, a muscular foot, usually used for movement, 2, a visceral mass containing most of the internal organs, and 3, a mantle fold of tissue that drapes over the visceral mass and secretes a shell, in organisms that have a shell. What are the main components of a bacterial cell? The major components of a bacterial cell are the plasma membrane, cell wall, and a nuclear region containing a single, circular DNA molecule. Plasmid small circular pieces of DNA that exist independently of the bacterial chromosome are also present in a bacterial cell. In addition, some bacteria may have flagella, which aids in movement, pili or fimbriae, which are short, hair like appendages that help bacteria adhere to various surfaces, including the cells that they infect or a capsule of slime around the cell wall that protects it from other microorganisms.
How many people living in the United States are centenarians? The number of centenarians in the United States has increased steadily over the decades. The most recent census estimates, 2009, indicate there were 55,266 centenarians. Although the Census Bureau asks for age information in more than one way. The U.S. Census Bureau cautions that the figures may be somewhat skewed since birth certificates were not common until the 1930s. Good cholesterol. Conversely, if most cholesterol is in the form of low-density lipoproteins, LDL, or very low-density lipoproteins, VLDL, then arteries can become clogged. Bad cholesterol is the term used to refer to LDL and VLDL. What is needed for DNA replication? DNA replication is a complex process requiring more than a dozen enzymes, nucleotides, and energy. In eukaryotic cells there are multiple sites called origins of replication, at these sites. Enzymes unwind the helix by breaking the double bonds between the nitrogen bases. Once the molecule is opened, Separate strands are kept from rejoining by DNA stabilizing proteins. DNA polymerase molecules read the sequences in the strands being copied and catalyze the addition of complementary bases to form new strands. What is a mermaid's purse? Mermaid's purses are the protective cases in which the eggs of dogfish, skates, and rays are released into the environment. The rectangular purse is leathery and has long tendrils streaming from each corner. The tendrils anchor the case to seaweed or rocks and protect the embryos during the six to nine months it takes for them to hatch. Empty cases often wash up on beaches. What is a small solar system body? The International Astronomical Union defines a small solar system body as all objects that Orbit the sun and are too small for their own gravity to pull them into a nearly spherical shape. Simply stated, they are all objects that do not meet the definition of a planet or dwarf planet. Examples of small solar system bodies are asteroids, near Earth objects, Mars and Jupiter Trojan asteroids, most centaurs, most trans Neptunian objects and comets. What is the ecliptic? Ecliptic refers to the apparent yearly path of the sun through the sky with respect to the stars. In the spring, the ecliptic in the northern hemisphere is angled high in the evening sky. In fall, 
the ecliptic lies much closer to the horizon. What are the major types of bonds? There are three major types of chemical bonds, covalent, ionic, and hydrogen. The type of bond that is established is determined by the electron structure. Ionic bonds are formed when electrons are exchanged between two atoms. And the resulting bond is relatively weak. Covalent bonds, the strongest type of bond, occur when electrons are shared between atoms. Hydrogen bonds are temporary, but they are important because they are crucial to the shape of a particular protein and have the ability to be rapidly formed and reformed. The following chart explains the types of bonds and their characteristics. Which chemical element is the most abundant in the universe? Hydrogen, H, element 1, makes up about 75% of the mass of the universe. It is estimated that more than 90% of all atoms in the universe are hydrogen atoms. Most of the rest are helium, He, element 2, atoms. How many hairs are on the human body? On the average human body, there are approximately 5 million hairs. When was the first atomic theory proposed? John Dalton, 1766 to 1844, an English natural philosopher, chemist, physicist, and teacher, developed the concepts of an atomic theory in the early 19th century. He published a new system of chemical philosophy in 1808. His main concepts of atomic theory may be summarized as all matter solid, liquid, and gas consists of tiny, indivisible particles called atoms. All atoms of a given element have the same mass and are identical, but are different from the atoms of different elements. Chemical reactions involve the rearrangement of combinations of those atoms, not the destruction of atoms. When elements react to form compounds, they combine in simple, whole number ratios. Who is the father of zoology? Aristotle 384 to 322 B. C. is considered the father of zoology. His contributions to zoology include vast quantities of information about the variety, structure, and behavior of animals. The analysis of the parts of living organisms and the beginnings of the science of taxonomy.
What does one acre of trees yield when cut and processed? There are about 660 trees on one acre in a forest. When cut, one acre of trees may yield approximately 105. 000, 000 board feet of lumber or more than 30 tons of paper or 16 cords of firewood. Who discovered the formula for the area of a triangle? Heron, or Hero of Alexandria, 1st century B. C. E. is best known in the history of mathematics for the formula that bears his name. This formula calculates the area of a triangle with sides A, B, and C, with S equals half the perimeter. The Arab mathematicians who preserved and transmitted the mathematics of the Greeks reported that this formula was known earlier to Archimedes, c. 287-212 BCE. But the earliest proof now known is that appearing in Heron's Metrica. In coal mining what is meant by damp? Damp is a poisonous or explosive gas in a mine. The most common type of damp is fire damp, also known as methane. White damp is carbon monoxide. Black damp. Or choke damp. Is a mixture of nitrogen and carbon dioxide formed by mine fires and explosions of fire damp in mines. Black damp extinguishes fire and suffocates its victims. What slime mold serves as a model organism in developmental biology? Dictyostelium discoidium has been studied as a model for the developmental biology of complex organisms. Under optimum conditions, this organism lives as individual, amoeboid cells. When food is scarce, the cells stream together into a moving mass. Resembling a slug that differentiates into a stalk with a spore bearing body at its top. This structure releases spores that can grow into a new amoeboid cell. The development from identical, free living cells to a multicellular organism simulates many of the properties of more complex and complicated organisms. What are the advantages and disadvantages of geothermal power? Geothermal energy is a renewable resource that is mostly emission and pollution free. Costs to operate a geothermal power plant are relatively inexpensive. It has the potential to produce power consistently, unlike wind and solar power. Currently, drilling for geothermal energy is expensive. Since rocks lose heat over time, new sites and wells have to be drilled. How is arithmetic different from mathematics?
Arithmetic is the study of positive integers, i.e., 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, manipulated with addition. Subtraction, multiplication, and division, and the use of the results in daily life. Mathematics is the study of shape, arrangement, and quantity. It is traditionally viewed as consisting of three fields, algebra, analysis, and geometry. But any lines of division have evaporated because the fields are now so interrelated. How much fuel can be saved when a home is properly insulated? Insulation of a single family house with EPS or XPS, extruded polystyrene. Over a 50 year period has the potential to save 80 metric tons of heating oil. This in turn corresponds to the fuel consumption of a fully loaded jumbo jet during a flight from Frankfurt, Germany, to New York. Who discovered the ABO system of typing blood? The Austrian physician Karl Landsteiner, 1868-1943 Discovered the ABO system of blood types in 1909. Landsteiner had investigated why blood transfused from one individual was sometimes successful and other times resulted in the death of the patient. He theorized that there must be several different blood types. A person with one type of blood will have antibodies to the antigens in the blood. Type they do not have. If a transfusion occurs between two individuals with different blood types. The red blood cells will clump together, blocking the blood vessels. How does a plant become a fossil? Fossilization is dependent upon where organisms grow and how quickly they are covered by sediment. Rarely do paleobotanists find the fossil remains of whole plants. Usually only fossilized parts of plants are found. Fossilization occurs in many different ways. Three common methods of fossilization are compression, impression, and molding or casting. Compression fossils are often formed in water, where heavy sediment flattens leaves or other plant parts. The weight of the sediment squeezes out water present in the plant tissue, leaving only a thin film of tissue. An impression fossil is an imprint of an organism that is left behind when the organism's remains have been completely destroyed, leaving only the contour of the plant. Fossil molds and casts are formed when animal or plant tissues become surrounded by hardened sediment, the tissue then decays. The hollow negative created by the tissue is called a mold. When fossil molds fill with sediment over time, the sediment often conforms to the contours of the mold, resulting in a fossil called a cast. How deadly is strychnine?
the fatal dose of strychnine or deadly nightshade. The plant from which it is obtained, is 0.0005 to 0.001 ounces, 15 to 30 milligrams. It causes severe convulsions and respiratory failure. If the patient lives for 24 hours, recovery is probable. What is the most massive star? The pistol star is both the brightest and most massive star known. Located 25,000 light years away in the area of the constellation Sagittarius. This young, Oneto 3 million year old, star is as bright as 10 million suns and may have weighed 200 times the mass of the sun at one point in its young life. What term was originally used for DNA? DNA was originally called nuclein because it was first isolated in 1869 from the nuclei of cells. In the 1860s Johann Friedrich Miescher, 1844-1895 a Swiss biochemist working in Germany at the University of Tübingen lab of Felix Hoppe-Seeler, 1825-1895, was given the task of researching the composition of white blood cells. He found a good source of white blood cells from the used bandages that he obtained at a nearby hospital. He washed off the pus and isolated a new molecule from the cell nucleus. White blood cells have very large nuclei. He called the substance nuclein. What are the leading causes of stress? In 1967, when they conducted a study of the correlation between significant life events and the onset of illness, Dr. Thomas H. Holmes, 1918 to 1989, and Dr. Richard H. Ra, 1936, from the University of Washington, compiled a chart of the major causes of stress with assigned point values. They published their findings on stress effects as the Social Readjustment Scale. Printed in the Journal of Psychosomatic Research. The researchers calculated that a score of 150 points indicated a 50 50th chance of the respondent developing an illness or a health change. A score of 300 would increase the risk to 90%. This type of rating scale continues to be used to help individuals determine their composite stress level within the last year. Since 1967 other researchers have adapted and modified the checklist. But the basic checklist has remained constant. Of course, many factors enter into an individual's response to a particular event. So this scale, partially represented below, can only be used as a guide. How can bryophytes be used as bioindicators?
bioindicators are physiological, chemical, or behavioral changes that occur in organisms as a result of changes in the environment. Bryophytes of the genus Hypnum are particularly sensitive to pollutants, especially sulfur dioxide. As a result, most bryophytes are not found in cities and industrial areas. Mosses and liverworts, especially Hypnum cupressiform and Homolaticium sericeum, were used as bioindicators to monitor radioactive fallout from the Chernobyl reactor accident in 1986. What are the essential nutrients? There are six essential nutrients, carbohydrates, fats, proteins, water, vitamins, and minerals. Energy nutrients are those that provide the body with the majority of the energy needed for daily metabolic reactions. Carbohydrates, fats, and proteins are energy nutrients. What are the sources of air pollution? Transportation is one of the major contributors to air pollution. Other significant sources of air pollution are fuel combustion, burning fossil fuels, and industrial processes, such as refineries, iron and steel mills, paper mills, and chemical plants. What is the Piri Rias map? In 1929 a map was found in Constantinople that caused great excitement. Painted on parchment and dated in the Muslim year 919, 1541 according to the Christian calendar. It was signed by an admiral of the Turkish navy known as Piri Rias. This map appears to be one of the earliest maps of America. And it shows South America and Africa in their correct relative longitudes. The mapmaker also indicated that he had used a map drawn by Christopher Columbus. 1451-1506, for the western part. It was an exciting statement because for several centuries geographers had been trying to find a lost map of Columbus supposedly drawn by him in the West Indies. Is there a cat that lives in the desert? The sand cat, Felis Margarita, is the only member of the cat family tied directly to desert regions. Found in North Africa, the Arabian Peninsula, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, and Western Pakistan, the sand cat has adapted to extremely arid desert areas. The padding on the solace of its feet is well suited to the loose sandy soil and it can live without drinking freestanding water. Having sandy or grayish ochre dense fur, its body length is 17.5 to 22 inches, 45 to 57 centimeters. Mainly nocturnal, active at night, the cat feeds on rodents, hares, birds, and reptiles.
The Chinese desert cat, Felispiety, does not live in the desert as its name implies. But inhabits the steppe country and mountains. Likewise, the Asiatic desert cat, Fela sylvestris ornata, inhabits the open plains of India, Pakistan, Iran, and Asiatic Russia. Which woods are used for railroad ties? Many species of wood are used for ties. The more common are oaks, gums, Douglas fir, mixed hardwoods. Hemlock, southern pine, sycamore, and mixed softwoods. How much electricity does an electric eel generate? An electric eel, Electrophorus electricus, has current producing organs made up of electric plates on both sides of its vertebral column running almost its entire body length. The charge on the average of 350 volts. But as great as 550 volts is released by the central nervous system. The shock consists of four to eight separate charges, which last only two to three thousandths of a second each. These shocks, used as a defense mechanism, can be repeated up to 150 times per hour without any visible fatigue to the eel. The most powerful electric eel, found in the rivers of Brazil. Colombia, Venezuela, and Peru, produces a shock of 400 to 650 volts. How is the glass used in movie stunts made? The glass might be made of candy, sugar boiled down to a translucent pane, or plastic. This looks like glass and will shatter like glass, but will not cut a performer. Which scientists made important discoveries associated with the cell? In the late 1600s, Robert Hooke, 1635-1703, was the first to see a cell. Initially in a section of cork, and then in bones and plants. In 1824, Henry Dutrochet, 1776-1847, proposed that animals and plants had similar cell structures. Robert Brown, 1773-1858, discovered the cell nucleus in 1831, and Matthias Schleiden. 1804-1881, named the nucleolus. The structure within the nucleus now known to be involved in the production of ribosomes, around that time. Schleiden and Theodor Schwann, 1810 to 1882, described a general cell theory in 1839. The former stating that cells were the basic unit of plants and Schwann extending the idea to animals. Robert Remack, 1815 to 1865, was the first to describe cell division in 1855. Chromosomes were 
named and observed in the nucleus of a cell in 1888 by Wilhelm von Waldeinhartz, 1836 to 1921. Walther Fleming, 1843 to 1905 was the first individual to follow chromosomes through the entire process of cell division.